Moving on to the final Grand Prix event, the French International, as it's called this year. This is where, obviously, the Grand Prix final spots will be finalized. Looking at the men really quickly, we have Nathan Chen, who is far and away the favorite here. Behind him, the only skater, granted if Chen wins, the only skater that has a chance at the final is Russian Alexander Samarin. He needs to finish in second place. With that, he will go to the final. But you also have in this field Boyang Jin, Dmitry Aliyev, and Jason Brown, who all have potential to really shake things up. How do you think this event's going to go? I think it's Chen and then the rest of the field. All of those men that you spoke about, Boyang Jin, uh, Dmitry Aliyev, uh, Jason Brown, I love those guys. They are great skaters. None of them has been able to perform to their potential so far this season. So um, if they're able to turn it around, wonderful. Um, but I And I think that those, those guys are, um, some of them are going to end up on the podium is kind of what I think. But um, Nathan Chen is really who, who I'd pay my money to see. Um, I love his uh, programs this year. And um, he, 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 he the man. He's the one to beat. Strong ladies field. This is going to be really interesting in the race for the final spots. Uh, potentially up to uh, three spots could be taken at this event. Start off with Rika Kihira. If she skates like she did in Japan, there's no question that she's going to come away with the win. She's not the most consistent skater, though, so we can that's never say that that's a given. She had an event right before NHK, uh, a domestic event, where I think she scored only like 108 points in the free skate. So we'll see if that was a fluke skate or if she's well on her way now with it. Uh, all she really needs to do, though, is finish in the top four, and she should make the final. Behind her, we have Mai Mihara, who kind of quietly went into that fourth place position in Japan, but it was a strong competition for her, so we can't count her out. We have Konstantinova, who already has a silver medal, and we have Medvedeva, who has a bronze medal. Medvedeva really needs to finish in the top two, or she's not going to be in the final. I think she's hungry. I think that, you know, she's had three weeks, or four weeks now, from her last event to now. Um, I'm excited to see the progress that she's made, and I don't think we can count her out at all. And then we also have Brady Tanel. She has a fourth place in her first event, so it's going to be she has to base, she has to win here to make the final. I don't think that's going to happen, but for her, I hope that she can deliver a stronger performance than what we saw at Skate America. Little mistakes there, uh, but she's you know she wants to be U.S. champion again, so I, I really hope she pushes this event and makes it competitive. How do you think it's going to play out? I think Medvedeva is going to win. Yeah. I think that she just, yeah, I think that uh, the improvement that I saw between Autumn Classic and then to Skate, Skate Camp, Camp um, I thought was very strong. And again, she's had about a month since then. So my money's on her. And you know what? She doesn't want to be in that second warm up, in that first warm up group, rather. That was a shock to her system that I don't think she's going to have let happen again. So for my money, um, even on, uh, not on a terrible day, because that was a terrible day, but on, uh, you know, eh, come see, come sade, I think that, that her short program um, can deliver. And I think that, uh, you know, she won the free skate um, at Skate Canada, which moved her up. I, I think that she's a skater, again, like a bit of a racehorse, ready to go. And I think that she's chomping at the bit, and I don't think she's going to make that mistake again. So she's my pick for, for a winner. Brady Tunnell defeated her at Autumn Classic, and I love Brady's um, material this year. Both the short and the free, I think, are extraordinarily strong, and um, um, I, I'm really anxious to see her. Kahira, um, I think that she had a wonderful experience um, to win her Grand Prix. I think that her short program is inconsistent. I think that she's still developing that, that um, uh, mental toughness for competition. So... Mm, She'll need a bit of a tailwind, I think, to win. I'm going to go out on a limb. I mean, I said it at NHK. I'm going to say it here. I think Kihiro wins again. I think that the final spot I is, is between three Russian ladies. And I, I, I do feel that Medvedeva is going to come into this competition and really deliver. And I think I think she yeah. might sneak into that final spot. And I hope she does. I mean, she's she's made a lot of changes, and that would be a boost to her confidence. I think so, too. Moving on to pairs, uh, James and Cypress, obviously the favorites here by a mile. Uh, this is, again, I mean, this is a watered-down pair season, so every single event we feel like we're saying this gives the opportunity to other teams to really step it up. Uh, the favorites for second place, as we talked about in our Russia review, are Boykova and Kozlovsky. With a silver medal here, they will get the final spot at the Grand Prix Final. Uh, 
The rest of the field, um, there's the North Korean team, Ryan and Kim, who made a big name for themselves last year. And then there's also Kane and O'Shea of the United States who are coming back from injury. I think that the top two, if they skate well, I mean, they're, I think they're set. I think the battle for the bronze medal could be between those two teams. I think you're right. Um, but it, the bronze medal is just going to be some, a nice piece of hardware for somebody. I think it's James and Cyprus, and then you're right, everybody else. And if the Russians are able to come second, and I think they might be able to, um, what they're looking for is that, that last sort of Grand Prix final spot. So that's really what's at stake. Um, experience for everybody else um, who can grab the bronze medal. And that's, that's, that's worthwhile as well. Finally, dance, and this is a stacked field. Talk about these weak fields here. We have a stacked field all of a sudden. Uh, this is, well, let's start out with the French, Papadakis, Cizeron. We're assuming they're going to show up to this event. They withdrew from their first event. He said he was on the ice again later that day. Uh, so we don't know what their content is this year, and we've seen a lot of strong performances. I don't think first place is guaranteed by any means, but they are skating at home. There is this expectation that they are the best in the world. Let's say that they are the gold medal favorites. Looking beyond them, we have... I think they are, for me, anyway. Yeah, we, we have Sinisina Ketsalapov. Uh, they won a silver medal in Skate Canada. And we have Gillis and Poirier of Canada, who won the bronze medal there. Gillis and Poirier made a huge mistake in the rhythm dance in Skate Canada. That pushed them into the first group in the uh, free dance. So maybe not the scores that we would have seen from them. These two teams, though... If Gillis Poirier finish bronze medal position again this week, they are not going to make the Grand Prix final. They need at least second. They, they specifically need to beat the Russians in this event to have any chance at the final. Looking on beyond them, you have Wyke Baker, who won at NHK a few weeks ago. They really just need a top four finish here. That might be a little bit of a question mark as well. Uh, you have the Parsons, who won the bronze at NHK. You have Smart and Diaz, who were strong in the rhythm dance at Skate Canada. And yeah. you have L'Oreal and Legach from France, who had a huge score in the free dance at Skate Canada. I think that the top three are kind of in their own little level. But within that top three, we don't know how it's going to play out. And I think between fourth and sixth, we don't know how it's going to play out. So there's a lot of things that can happen here. Uh, how do you think it's going to play out? Well, I think that the rhythm dance is key. I, I really do, in this competition in particular. Uh, for reasons that I don't really understand, Sinitsina and Katsalapov uh, won the free dance um, at Skate Canada. Uh, for me, that's not that's not the winning free dance. Um, um, you know, I, I my, my mind is such with numbers that it would take me a while to go back and sort of look at the protocol. But basically, um, Hubble and Donahue and uh, Gilles and Poirier, for me, have the free dances of the year. So um, I was really surprised to see that result at Skate Canada. If, if the same thing happens again here, then uh, Gilles and Poirier will be relegated to bronze medal. Um, I hope that doesn't happen. Um, and I hope everybody has the best skate possible so we can, for once and for all, determine the lay of the land. Um, but I think that, um, uh, you know, there's some, there's some cool skaters in this field and some cool programs. Dia Smart and Adria Diaz, um, I love their rhythm dance. I love the fact that it's sort of an authentic tango with no cheese. It's just very, very um, smoldering and sultry and just all things wonderful. So if you get a chance, watch a live stream to see that. And then um, I like uh, Gillis and Poirier's short dance as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing what Papadakis and Cizeron um, have up their sleeve for their short dance and their free. Apparently they are talking about, um, I read an article in French where they were talking about that they weren't going to be doing piano music for their free dance, which is sort of more guitar place, beautiful music. So um, I'm really fascinated to see what it is that they do. I hope that his back is completely recovered um, and that um, we see a performance from them that uh, uh, foreshadows what's going to happen in the second half of the season. That's it. This is going to determine the Grand Prix final. Then we have a week off. The Grand Prix has flown by every, I mean, this is... I know! Over 20 years of me watching Grand Prix, and, and every single year it's like, it comes and goes so quickly. Uh, I... So yeah, we do have a, we, we will review the French Grand Prix next week, and we do have a break. Thanks again to PJ this entire season for joining me, giving our previews and reviews. Go watch skating, everybody. It is the best. Thank you, PJ. Bye for now.